Hi, this is Mimi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be working in my creative daily journal for the days of the 7th to the 13th. Yes, 7th to the 13th. I, sh I mean, I should know that I just put all the stuff inside. I have everything ready to go. Uh, if you haven't seen one of my videos before, this month I am using this. Here it is. Here's the box. This scrapbooking kit from um, Amazon that I got for Christmas. So I have all the stuff here, all the papers, everything it came with. And I already prepped. I usually prep when I'm done filming for the next week. And by prep, I mean I just grab papers that I can add into my journal. So that's all the real prep that I do. So we're going to get started. Oh, I need to find a picture from a book. Hold on. Okay. I needed a picture for the Feb and June uh, prompt week and it's find a picture from a book or magazine that makes you happy. Add it to your journal. And if you didn't know, Piglet is my favorite Pooh character. So my favorite Winnie the Pooh character. So I grabbed that from my stash. I have a book I read. Here's my snacky plate that day. Um, and then here's this stuff also. The boyfriend and I had tried these and I don't like white chocolate or raspberry, but they were still really good. Yeah, I'm a weirdo, but they were still very good. So let's get started. I'm going to start by washi taping this vellum piece into my journal. And that way I add stuff underneath and um, on the vellum if I need to. Sorry if you hear that clanging. Somebody's using water upstairs. Our, <laughs> our, uh, um, our water pipes always clang. All right, so there we go. And then we're gonna add this on here. I need my glue book so we can glue pages down. And where's my, I don't know where my glue stick is. Oh, it's laying, literally, it was laying down and I couldn't see it. I'm such a, uh, some days, let me tell you. I hope you guys had a good week. I hope you had a better week than I've had. Today's Valentine's Day. Um, I don't even know what to say. Today's Valentine's Day. That's about all I have to say. Um, it's just been a really, really long week. On Monday... Our sewage, was that Monday or no, Sunday. Sunday our sewage overflowed down in the basement again. Every once in a while our, it gets backed up and we need to have somebody come out and um, use the snake on it to unblock it. And this time it was horrendous this time. It was so bad. It was really bad this time. The, f the flood was ruin the carpet so I had to rip out the carpet this week it was just really bad so it's been a very long week <clears throat> super long week and honestly I'm not uh, it's just I'm done I'm done with my week is basically what I'm saying I'm done with it I'm done with this week I'm done with this year I said it last time. I will say it again. I am so over 2024 already. It's ridiculous. It's been nothing but shit, literal shit so far this year. And I'm over it. I honestly just want to be done. So then the guy says that he thinks there's something more going on. Well, no, no crap. There's something more going on. It's an old house. It was built in the 1961. And you may think that's not old, but think about it. That's now old. My parents bought this house in 98. 
okay? So, it's old. And there's nothing but problems. And now it smells down here. And I can't get rid of the smell. And this is my craft room. So, that's fun. My son came down and he goes, Mom, it smells down here. No, no duh. No duh, Dick Tracy. So glad that you realize that it smells in here. I mean, honest to God. Some days. And he's the one who told me it flooded. He came upstairs. He's like, Mom, basement flooded. He's like, that's okay. It's only an inch. I was like, oh, okay, that's not bad. We'll just get somebody out. Yeah, not only an inch. And then I had to show my child what an inch was. I'm like, dude, this is an inch. He goes, yeah, an inch. I said, you do know that it curves. It, like, dips down. <laughs> it was so bad. Like I said, it ruined the carpet. So I had to rip the carpet out yesterday. Okay. So there we go. That is the seventh. What happened on the seventh? Oh, my kid told me I was mean and boring and I don't let him be himself. And I told the boyfriend that and he said, that's not true. I gave him no restrictions. And that made me feel like he was calling me a bad mom. I'm a good mom. He said, who cares if he curses? I've allowed him to curse since he's like 12. I don't care. Society puts, to me, society makes the, the words bad. They didn't start off bad. You're making them a bad word. I don't care. Who cares? If oh, the worst thing he does is curse, why do I care? If that's the worst thing that he does in his life. Who cares a crap? All right. So this is the eighth. And what do we do? Oh, my. <laughs> so if you didn't know, my last, was it my last video? I mentioned that my grandparents were interviewed for the news. Um, they were on Fox News. They're in a nursing home up north from me here in Pennsylvania. And um, they were on the news. <laughs> my mom, my mom texted me and said, they're going to be on the news t tonight. And then she texted me the link the next day, because you know, I don't have cable. We haven't had cable in years. So she texted me the link for the news story the next day. <laughs> and God love them. Um, I said to my mom, I'm like, why is it all lies? Like, everything was lies. Guys, I will link that video down below if you would care to watch. My, my lovely grandparents. I love my grandparents. They are the only grandparents that I've ever had. So I do love them. This says I need to use a journaling supply I haven't used in a while. So I'm going to use a marker and color across the bottom here because I forgot till now. So that's what I'm going to do. But yes, it was, I'm like, it's all lies. Why is it all lies? I'm like, my grandfather said he, like they said he was 93. My grandfather will be 90 next month. <laughs> Dying. I was like, okay, that's not too bad. And then I read, because it's a video and an article. And then I read farther down in the article and it said, this is one of those adhesive pockets you can get at the, um, in the um, Bullseye Playground or th at Target. So, um, yeah, so he's, according to the, uh, he's 93. And then, and here they are, here are my lovely grandparents the picture from the article. I love my grandparents. But yeah, they're they're 93. And I'm just going to glue these together. A lot of times that's what I'll do. And then I'll put them in a pocket just so they're not all flying around willy nilly in the pocket. And then I said to my mom, well, now I'm looking for the cousins I didn't know I had because according to them, they have 28 grandchildren. So I'm still looking for the other 19 of us. I don't know where we are. And how long he's he was in the army, which he was in the navy. And it was just too funny. I was dying. How funny it was. Okay, so let's see. I read a lot of books this day, a lot. Uh, my Kindle Unlimited subscription is almost up, so I've been like trying to. I also watched The Greatest Night of Pop. If you were my generation and 
you've always wondered about the We Are the World, un the untold story behind We Are the World, and it was amazing to find out how that came um, and then this says, you see me reading, right? And yet you speak all the time, all the time, all the time. So let me read my books. If you want to have a conversation, say, can you stop reading so we can have a conversation? I will gladly stop reading so we can have a conversation, but do not just say something every few seconds. And like, and then a minute later, say something. Oh, don't do that to me, please. Okay. Anyway, my grandparent, it was just, it was amazing. It was just all lies. All lies. All lies. Made me laugh so hard. But yes, I'm still looking for my 19 other cousins. I don't know where they are. I said, though, to my mom, I said, well, at least they remember exactly how many children they have. Like, they could be forgiven for not knowing how many grandchildren or great-grandchildren they have, but at least they remember that they have that many children. So bad. This is really nice thickness of paper. You cannot see that marker through. Okay. So that was a highlight of my week. Like I said, I just grabbed little bits and pieces of this kit for each page, and I'll do the same for next week. Um. I'm going to add this like this, but I'll do the same for next week after I'm done here. I won't, I don't pre put the stuff on the pages. I like to do that on the video, but I just go through, look to see um, what kind of stuff looks good together and just grab a bunch of different things. I have to be careful though now. <clears throat> I don't want to run out of items before I get to the end, and I'm going through them much faster than I thought I would be because I'm doing a lot of layering. Okay. So, yeah. All right, so what, what's this one? What is one thing you love about yourself? I mean, absolutely nothing. So we'll move on from that. <laughs> My mother-in-law was just here. She leaves tomorrow? Tomorrow she leaves for her sisters, and then they're going up to Massachusetts, and they're flying out from Massachusetts. They're going to stay at um, their niece's house, my boyfriend's his cousin's house. They're not even there. They're down in Florida signing the papers for their new house because they decided to move back to Florida. They moved to Massachusetts 2020, maybe? I don't even remember. And they decided to move back to Florida. Which I don't blame them because their son's going to go to college in Florida. Their daughter already goes to college in Florida. Just move back to Florida. I don't blame them at all. Um, but they're not even there. But they're staying there and then they're going to... Or is it the, on the way home that they won't be there? I don't remember. One of the times that they're staying there. I don't remember which one it is. I don't remember. <laughs> Too much going on. But um, then they're flying to Iceland. They're going on vacation to Iceland. So this day I got a dip nail kit. I got a cheap one to see if I would like it. And I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I did do my nails and they came out pretty good. However, they didn't last long. So I have to watch some more videos about how to prevent lifting. But I also said to my boyfriend, I didn't care. The first few times I do them, I don't care if they lift off. They lasted three days before they started to lift. And I don't care if they do because I want to make sure that my nails look good since I'm so new at it, that they look good before they're on there for, for like two weeks. Does that make sense? So there was like some issues with them. They weren't perfect, They but it was my first try and I thought they looked pretty good for my first try. But I wanna keep practicing before, and so if they lift off, I don't care about that. Not right now. But I got the Azure Beauty one, is the one I got. And it was on sale for $14.99 on Amazon. And um, gonna staple this to it. But yeah, it was on sale for $14.99 on Amazon and you got the, you got four dip powders, 
all of the um, can't even think all of the poly, like the base coat, the activator, the top coat, you got all of that. You got a brush to brush off the extra powder off your fingers. You got all that kind of stuff. So for $14.99, I didn't think that was that bad. And you don't get a huge amount of dip powder, but I'm like, do you really need a lot of dip powder? I don't know. So I'm just going to put the, oh, my mom stopped by to drop off, um, she got me paper towels at Sam's Club and she dropped off this eye mask. It's the Renfo Iris One and it massages, heats, vibrates, and plays relaxing music. I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Let's move that over. Yeah, I am completely obsessed with it. It feels so good. Feels amazing. Um, it's so relaxing. I absolutely love it. And when I told her that I called her with it on, like 10 minutes after she dropped it off, I'd already had it on and I called her and I'm like, this is the best thing ever. So and she said she was thinking about ordering one for herself. I don't know. I don't know if she did. I said she should because it felt great. I said I don't even, she got it for me with the hopes that it would help my headaches. Has it helped my headaches? No. Um, but it still feels so darn good. It feels so good. Okay, this day, oh, the boyfriend brought sheets for lunch. Yeah. We're a sheets family. I've said it before. So he brought sheets for lunch because I said, bring lunch. I'm hungry. And he brought some lunch. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is the day that the drain overflowed. Ugh, let me tell you. Such a... Ooh! I also read Allie Hazelwood's new um, book, Bride. Five-star book. Five-star. Amy, do you hear me? If you like romance and you're okay with paranormal romance, it was a five-star book. Absolutely loved it. Um, it was... So I up late to finish it. But that's, this is the day that the basement drain overflowed. So, and my son's like, Mom, you got to get some air freshener. I'm like, yeah, let me get right on that. I haven't left the house. We had snow yesterday. So we didn't really leave the house. So, oh, that was Saturday then. I thought it was Sunday. So Sunday was the Super Bowl. So I watched the Super Bowl. Well, I watched it while I read, because why not? I wasn't super invested, so not that big of a deal. I have this weird, like, I don't know what kind of paper this is, but I'm going to rip it here and glue it in. Just realized I'm hungry. My son was making himself food. I should have had him make me something. But I said no when he asked me. And now I'm hungry. Okay, and then there's this um, little thing. <laughs> Look at that. Exile, Taylor Swift. And I'm going to tell you, that's actually one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. Let me pop this out. Oh, I ripped it. Don't do what I do. That ripped. I went too hard, too fast. That's okay. I'll just tape it back together. Not a big deal. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. See, look at that. I'll tape it back. Not a big deal. Oh, it's so funny because I was actually rooting for the 49ers to win. <laughs> Part of me was rooting for the 49ers. Part of me was rooting for the Chiefs. I'm not going to lie. 
But if you are on TikTok, you will see that all the stuff going around about how in 2020 it was the frickin' 49ers and the Chiefs, and the Chiefs won, and then COVID came, and there's way too many similarities. So I was kind of rooting for the 49ers, but it felt weird because I rooted for the 49ers for so many years because my ex-husband is a 49ers fan. So it felt weird rooting for the 49ers again. So weird. strange but then I said oh and then my boyfriend was also rooting for the 49ers because you know the Chiefs have won so many times lately but I'm like I don't give a crap about that I'm gonna tape that there um so yeah that was Sunday Then I also feel like if you don't know the rules of the game, you don't deserve to win. Hmm? 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 Just my opinion. And it was a ten it was it was it was a tense game there in overtime. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here. Alright, oh I have a lot of how much did I read? I read a lot. First of all, okay, so I read Unhinged and Erotic Door Romance. Don't judge me for it. It's all over TikTok, and I had to see what it was about. And yeah, let's let's just not talk about it. I think I'm just gonna go through and staple these down the side. This was a one star book. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to take this and I think I'll take that there. All right. This I made the boyfriend wear when he got off of work. I was like, here, you lay down and wear my eye mask. And then he said to me, it felt good, but after a while, I don't like a massage anymore. I said, you didn't have to keep it on the whole time because it lasts for 15 minutes. All right, this day we went to the mall. Actually, um, they came, Roto-Rooter came to um, unclog sewer drain on Monday. That was at nine o'clock in the morning they came and I had physical therapy Sorry. I was just putting tape on the back of that. I know you couldn't see it. Sorry. I'm still not used to where this camera lands. Um, but yeah. Roto-Rooter came out to, come on, get off my finger. Unclog the drain. And then I went to physical therapy. I think my dad had a doctor's oh my dad had to go because to the doctor again because when they put his catheter you see now they want you to replace your catheter every month so my dad's been going once a month to replace his catheter because now he will not get his catheter removed until he sees the surgeon because every time he needs to end up going back and getting it put back in. So they keep giving him appointments on a Friday and then he refuses to get it taken out because then he has to go to the ER to get it put, to put it, get it put back in. So he went to the doctor. So he went to the doctor and I went to physical therapy. Oh, so he, Friday he went to the doctor and they put a catheter in and they put the wrong tube in him. So he was in pain the entire weekend, but he refused to go, and I don't blame him, he refused to go to the ER to get it done unless it was so bad, but he was able to like deal with it. So he went, and I had, he went to get that replaced. I had physical therapy, and while he, he was at the doctor after physical therapy, I went to the mall to get him sweatpants. So 
we went to boss cops and i found him some sweatpants i got a new pair of jeans i got new underwear because i needed new underwear and when we left we also went to jc penny because the boyfriend needed new work shirts and if you're men's big and tall and you have a jc penny near you men's big and tall is like the place to go that's what we've always found it's so much better um there than anywhere else so then we went to eat for the first <laughs> this is so funny i cannot believe it um for the first time since 2020 we actually went to eat at a restaurant how insane is that so we went out to eat we just went to it's <laughs> it's this restaurant in my mall and i think it's only a local place um, and in this restaurant, they, let me clean some of this up. They, um, you can go out front and get like hot dogs and stuff. And you can sit outside in the mall and eat there. And then in, um, inside, if you go sit down, they have like a full German menu. It's a little German restaurant. So what else? Oh, and then the guy came that night to put a camera down to see what was going on. And he's like, oh, there's so much scale in your pipe. And that is the problem. And he said, like, an estimate for the cheap way to fix it would be $20,000. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Um, that's what I say. And I talked to my dad about it because it really depressed my dad. Though, I have to say, over summer, over Last summer, the neighbor told us that he had to get his pipes replaced and it cost like 15, 20 grand. I don't remember what he said. And I said to my dad, I said, can you get insurance on that? And he's like, yeah. I said, maybe we better get insurance on that, like ASAP. So he did. And um, so he ended up getting insurance and it'll cover, he checked, it'll cover 12 grand of replacing the pipes from the house to the street. Nothing in the house, but from the house to the street is what it'll cover. So thankfully, we were smart enough to get that insurance. So if something does happen, we can get it replaced. And it covers, I think he said 12 grand of the price. Like, thank heavens. But I also talked to him today and I said, there's other things you can do. He went right to that. And he also said he was going to send me an email with um, the estimate and everything in it. And he never did. So I was like, mm hmm, something's a little fishy here. And I also tried to tell him that that's not where the problem is, but he didn't want to listen to me. So that's a big fat screw you. If you don't want to listen to somebody when they try to tell you something, then screw off. And I was saying, my mother in law stopped, like I said, she was stopped by here to pick up some stuff because she has to pack. That's what I was going with that story, and then I got, I got, I got distracted. Sorry, it happens. It happens. Sometimes I really think that I might have, may have, <laughs> sometimes have some ADHD. Only sometimes, because I can sit and read a book and not have a problem. But if I'm having a conversation, my mind wanders, and all kinds of things start to happen. Um, anyway, so she stopped by to pick up some stuff that we had here for her because she has to pack because she leaves tomorrow vacation and when she was here I said to her I said oh I just hate dealing with men they think women don't know anything and I don't understand it you know what I can do I can I can do some electrical work I can do some plumbing I can lay some flooring I can do a lot of freaking things because I owned a house and you have to be able to do it my ex-husband couldn't do it my boyfriend can't do it because he doesn't um he does not He lives in an apartment. They don't have to do it. So he doesn't know how to do any of that kind of stuff, but I can do it. And I said, I'm so sick and tired of men thinking that women don't know anything. I think I know in the house that I live in where the damn problem is. But, you know, maybe I don't. Who knows? Maybe I don't know. I started this new book series. This one I am enjoying. It's Kindle Unlimited, and I'm really enjoying this book series. I'm on the third book. I'm also, I am pushing the Kindle Unlimited books right now because my, my um, membership is up on the 18th, so I've been reading a lot of Kindle Unlimited books. And then I had some tea last night because my boyfriend has a little bit of a cold. So I made some tea, 
And then that was, was that everything? Oh, and then my kid got me um, these roses for Val the Lego roses for Valentine's Day. So we put them together, together. We put them together, together. I did one, he did one. So that's it. That was my week in a nutshell. It was horrible and a horrible week. I don't want to um, do this again. <laughs> don't want to do it again. I don't want to, I, I, I'm just over it. I'm really over everything. Everything is going wrong in this house and it's annoying because five years ago, four or five years ago, I told my dad we should put this house up for sale and he didn't want to. And now everything is going wrong. I should have put a clear pocket on here so I could put that in there. I'm just going to let it sit in there. It doesn't need to be, um, glued in in any way. So here we go. Here's my piglet. I love piglet. This is my week in a nutshell. It's, it's been a long week. It really has. And once again, what is one thing you love about yourself? I just said that to my mother-in-law. She said, wow, you've lost so much weight. And I said, yeah. And she's like, um, do you feel better now that you've lost weight? I said, I don't like myself, so it doesn't even really matter. And she just looked at me like I was weird. And I'm like, well, that's just how it is. I don't. Oh, this is getting nice and chunky now. I love it. It was way too thin. So I'm glad. Oh, I can't go that way now. I'm glad that it's getting chunkier. How are you guys enjoying me using this kit? Do you want to see me prep the pages and how I go about prepping the pages? If you do, let me know. I will film it as I'm doing it next. And if you want it posted, I will. If not, then I'll just delete the video. That's not a big deal. I'm already doing it, so I might as well just film it. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm sorry these videos have been a little bit longer, but it takes more time than to um, decorate the pages. Yeah. Me, Please like and subscribe. And like I said, comment down below and let me know if you want to see me prep it, and then I will post a video of me prepping it. And yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.